When we wake up each morning, most of us don't even really pay attention to our Earth. Yes, we may glance enough to see if we need a windbreaker or an umbrella, but we as a people hardly look out at our environment. The environment is like a body. It has its strengths and its weaknesses. Well, what if we all made it ill? Gave it a disease that no band-aid could fix. No, this needs surgery. Welcome to America. We produce 72% of the world's waste, yet comprise only 5% of the world's population. These consumerist habits are what Americans call normal. Most people have no idea how their consumerist habits relate to other people in the world. According to Mindfully.org, one American consumes as much as two Japanese, six Mexicans, 13 Chinese, 31 Indians, 128 Bangladeshis, 207 Tanzanians, and 370 Ethiopians. We use as much commercial energy as 10 people in the developing world. If the entire planet lived like us, it would take four planet Earths to provide the resources necessary to support our lifestyles. As our new president, you need to realize that Americans live in excess and work to decrease our habits of consumerism and waste. Do you ever try to kind of cut down consumption by buying maybe in bulk or any sort of buying more things? Probably not. You know, it's, yeah. it's inconvenient. You have to repackage it. Right, right. So. Yeah. Do you do anything in your home or with your vehicle to try to reduce your carbon uh, Um, Not really. Not really. Not really. Um, do you, would you think about doing anything more environmentally friendly in your day-to-day -day activities, your consumer habits, maybe? Yeah, I mean, I'm open to it. It's just, yeah, I think finding the, uh, the easiest way to incorporate that in everyone's daily lives. We have 3% of the world's oil reserves, and we use 25% of the world's oil. And we're not going to be able to deal with the climate crisis if our only solution is to use more fossil fuels that create global warming. The big problem with energy is that for 30 years, Politicians in Washington haven't done anything. We in America have always been a nation of movement. Manifest destiny seems a word on the tip of our tongues. We've always been pioneers willing to move forward. Today we are faced with a concern that goes beyond the reaches of the inlets of New York or the catacombs of LA. This is big. And we're about 5% of the world's population, but yet we use about 25% of the Earth's resources, and they estimate even 50% of the world's electricity wow. is for the United States. 50%. Our consumption of energy and stuff has actually affected air, soil, water quality, resource availability of the planet, national security, okay, loss of biodiversity, and an exorbitant amount of trash. It's upwards of five pounds of trash per person per day the United States produces that we need to deal with and dispose of. I think part of it, and if you think about people in general, we tend not to be good with prevention. We tend to be heroic in reaction. Mm -hmm. So when things get to the point that they're like, when you can actually see the devastation, or you can see the problem, or you can see the trash piling up in your community, then people are like, ooh, I guess we should probably do something. So I think we're more, especially in the United States, but I think in the world in general, people tend to react more than they do to prevent some of the things that have actually been happening. Will humans see a carrying capacity? You know, will we have some limiting factors that will be an issue for the world? You know, will greenhouse gas emissions cause such a thick blanket that our earth warms up so much that we actually have some issues with that? You know, but as I said, I'm cautiously optimistic because I think if we let things be fixed, and I think if we deal with things, we can actually come together as a global community like we did with the ozone layer. And the whole world came together, and we found out that chlorofluorocarbons were the cause for this. And you know what? They said as a world, let's decrease our chlorofluor chlorofluorocarbon. They also call them CFCs production. And the hole in the ozone has not only not gotten bigger, it's actually starting to repair itself a little bit. We're going around downtown Glen Ellen in Illinois asking individuals what they do to help the environment. I try to walk as much as I can. 
I uh, have reusable, reusable bags that I use to go grocery shopping. The tote bags. Well, the mileage on my car, let's see, in the last year, or more than a year, is, I don't know, about 4,000 miles, so I don't drive okay. very many miles. I recycle. I... Oh yeah, even recycling the dog bags. We use all new light bulbs now. We don't use any of the old ones. Their ways of living, like Japan is so thin compared to the rest, like a lot of other countries. And um, cause their diet is based on rice, um, soup, like fish and stuff, like sushi. So yeah. they really don't eat a lot of, they don't eat processed foods. Mm -hmm. so. Ride my bike. Yes. yes. One less SUV. That's what I say. And we recycle. In terms of clothing, um, we recycle clothes, um, um, pass them down to different younger siblings, and we also make our own clothes, wow. so it takes up like less fabric. Mm -hmm. Drive an economy car. I don't use plastic water bottles anymore. I have a metal container. My mom uses vinegar to clean a lot of things, so she doesn't Perfect. use those, those bad chemicals to clean things. The Americans we spoke to today should really serve as models for all of us attempting to live more environmentally friendly lives. President Obama, in order to make sure Americans reduce their environmental impact on this world, we need incentives to live less wasteful lives. We need to build and have tax credits on more environmentally friendly vehicles. We need to have more access to public transportation. We need to have more rewards for people who recycle and we need to be better role models for other stewards on this earth. We are Americans, and we are free to consume as much as we want. But with this freedom comes responsibility. We must have the responsibility to take care of this earth that we live on. So globally, we can do it. Okay? We can make the world a better place. Um, it's a matter of can the United States be a role model? Can the United States be you know, the ones to show the rest of the world, hey, you know what, we did it, we screwed up. We didn't have things go right. Why don't we all work together and figure out the right way to do it so people don't make our same mistakes? I wish I could tell my grandkids that my America pioneered the saving of our Earth, that we ended oil addiction and reduced CO2 and fossil fuel emissions. But can I?